all around the country, this image is used as a depiction to explain equality and equity. But here's the flawed logic of equity. The tall gentleman has to give up his crate so that the short person can stand on the crate. Here's a better idea. Instead of watching the game for free from the fence, how about purchasing a ticket to get in the game and sit in the bleachers along with the rest of the crowd? The Office of Equity started in 2013, and this year marks the 10-year anniversary of this pet project. Since 2014, $8.7 million in counting has been spent on race baiting, race hustling, reducing standards, CRT, grooming, and normalizing transgenderism instead of appropriately labeling it as gender dysphoria. And where, and where are the measurable outcomes from the equity office? This is what we do know. Nearly 50% of our graduating class in 2021 failed math and reading standards, while we tout that we have a 91% graduation rate. All students have a 6 out of 10 chance to pass state exams in grades 3 through 8. Black students have a 4 out of 10 chance to pass all state exams in grades 3 through 8. This is the hard truth that no one will tell you. Equity will not fix the dire marriage rate in the black community. 80% of black homes are led by a single parent, and statistics show that this has a negative impact on children mentally, socially, and academically. Going woke won't bring daddy home. The answer is not diversity, equity, and inclusion. The answer is faith, family, morality, and education void of special interests. Equity is the transmission of a disease called communism. Equity lowers the bar, overlooks merit, and puts the focus on skin tone only. Equity is legalized theft because it takes from the productive person and gives to the unproductive person. In the early 2000s, there was a two to three year wait list, wait list to be a Wake County teacher. Today, we're approximately 400 teachers short. The general feedback that I hear from teachers is that the focus is on equity, 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 more equity, and more and more equity. Instead of focusing on the equity, the teachers don't have the ability to even discipline the students and correct their violent behaviors. I believe that we need to take the money from the equity office and put it towards repairing West Cary. You got to check, the, check out these comments. They are fire. Check this out. First comment says, the destruction of the nuclear family has been purposeful and devastating. To all, and this next one said to all races. Purposeful, purpose was the key word. But this one here you got to read. Whoever came up with that idea to destroy it was genius. To tear down the enemy. Truly sad. Next one. So no one, I mean no one, um, laid it out more plain and more concisely and more concisely well so more concisely more intuitively than you uh, this is my favorite quote right here I'm not going to think focus enough going woke would not bring daddy home brilliant I agree I so agree more comments right and void special interest love it they don't hide it there's one essential objective destruction of the nuclear family loyalty to the state how is that for scary Speak. They need to stop incentivizing single parent households and teach productive skills, impactful knowledge, and in home and institution. That would lead to knowledge which would rather than let people not depend on the government. Well said. Well said. This pastor is on fire. And he speaks nothing but facts and truths. Some of that um, educational board have a hard time saying. It's kind of weird that. They will push their type of narrative, but are they really going to benefit them, the students? No. I strongly believe it's going to more like keep them dumbed down, confused, and lost. And I think that's their intent. Any person who is lost, confused, undereducated, are way more likely to be co controlled in the future. Just as the certain elites want it. Thank God for the pastor Let's go to these meetings and speak of his truths. Not just any truth, but the ultimate truths. 
and we need way more pastors. We need way more pastors going to these meetings speaking these truths. Don't you agree? Leave the thoughts in the comments down below. Peace.